feel about graduating now after only half a year? For me, honestly, it makes me feel scared because I know that I'm getting closer to being an adult and getting old. And you don't like it? No, I just want it to be. I just want it to be a blissful little life. And what do you think about ChatGPT? Oh, okay. Mm. We should be scared that AI is going to take the capability to make art from us. And meanwhile, we're going to have to do the bare minimum to maintain society. Are you Petri? Adam Petrenia. Jadi ceritanya Matt ini sudah lulus dari SMP alias middle school dan sekarang sudah mau masuk ke SMA alias high school. You will still be a kid. Let's talk about your current situation and um, Introduce yourself because we have a lot of new subscribers now. Oh wait, let the car pass. Hashtag trespassing. Oh wait. Hi guys. Um, I'm Mad. I am Indonesian and Hungarian, and um, yeah, I've lived quite a nomadic life. I graduated from kindergarten in Singapore, then a primary. I mean, uh, elementary school in Hungary. And now I'm graduating middle school in Malaysia. <laughs> how old are you again? 14. But how come you are already going to high school? 14 is too young. Some schools let you graduate at the age of 13, some 15. Um, in my case, people graduate uh, middle school at the age of 14, so... Because, you know, I'm just built different, you know, I'm... But then, what's different? So high school will be four years or what? High school is four years, yeah. For you, yeah, yeah. For me, it was only three years. <laughs> <laughs> That's different. the length of middle school for me. Yeah, 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 it's different. Mm -hmm. It's the first year for you at this school in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. And you've been here only for half a year? A little bit uh, more? Yeah, a little longer, yeah. yeah. Around eight months. What do you think about your new school? Mm. You good? Yeah, it's nice. I mean... I like that the community is like, it's easy to communicate with the other students, mm. they're nice. They're nice? Yeah, they help me feel like I belong. Mm. Only after half a year, you have graduated. So that means <laughs> you will go to another school for now? No. Can you explain? No, 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 no. So it will be the no, same? Uh, no, no. Uh, my school offers elementary, middle, and high school, which means that I don't have to move schools and I don't have to pay a different price fee. Having to move and get to know different communities mm -hmm. and different students is... I feel like it's a bit jarring, so oh, it's, you don't like it. it's better if I just stay with a bunch of people um, and in throughout middle and high school, I just stay with them instead of having to move when I graduate uh, eighth grade. That way you don't have to worry about having friends very often. Uh, how do you feel about graduating now after only half a year? Or it doesn't matter because your for school me, will still be the same, right? For me, honestly, it makes me feel scared because I know that I'm getting closer to being an adult and getting old. And you don't like it? No, I just want it to be. I just want it to be a blissful little life. Uh, but actually, there are good things about growing up too. Yeah, like moving out. Some people think that's a good thing, but I'm thinking about other things like getting a job. You wake, you can sleep late at night. Your parents won't nag at you. 
you will have privacy I won't scold you for things <laughs> Matt, brush your teeth Matt, change your diaper Let's get another <laughs> That was years ago. That yeah, was decades. Exactly. Ago. You can already feel the change between when you were a toddler and now. There are there are better things. Like I'm more aware about the world. Mhm. Mm mhm. And uh, and having to worry about summatives all the time and assessments and tests. Why are you worried about assessment and exams and stuff? Most of the time, yes. I've only been at the school for around a few months, but mm -hmm. from what I can tell, the beginning of the year is usually very calm. The middle of the year is even calmer. And then there's just a huge spike at the end of the year. Like you get like six to eight different classes giving you homework assignments at the same time. And it's just, yeah, you get burnt out from it pretty quick, but at the same time, it also means that the break is near. So. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think about it. That's quite positive outlook. So you get more job, that means your break is getting closer. Oh, interesting. How about your grades? Are you satisfied? Hmm, well, I'll be honest. I did get a pretty decent GPA, mm -hmm. so I don't know what my GPA is exactly. But since I got an award for having a good you GPA... You got an award? Yeah. Yeah. Is, is there such thing? Uh, in my school, yeah. Um, if your GPA is between 3.5 and 4, then yeah, you get an award. What kind of system is it? Mm, IB, I think, is it? Yeah, it's IB. Did you have to study a lot? I mean, your grades were, let's say, good, right? Yeah. Did you study? Like every night you would sit and read your books and stuff like that? I'll be I did. honest, uh, I didn't really need to study <laughs> that much. Sometimes I'd need help with something, but yeah. How do you memorize things? Like in my time, I had to memorize a lot of things. For example, in history, like this year, this things happen and the king of this dynasty was blah 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 i had to memorize those kind of things and that's why i had to read my books a lot and you never do this kind of things yeah um some classes rely on memorization more than others for example english oh english. like you have to memorize the details of the story and the implications behind every single plot point which uh, we were reading a trilogy of books so that was even harder on us oh. and those books were university level <laughs> wow and you had to memorize what's inside yes uh, the book we were reading specifically was a tale of two cities by Charles wow, Dickens. that's really difficult usually every class has multiple tests for example English has two tests reading and writing mm -hmm. so reading is about plot details um uh memorizing what happened in a book oh sorry and during the exam you must not look at the book no no you can't you have to memorize yeah them. okay okay some okay. classes do allow you to look but mm -hmm. in english uh no, no you're not allowed to look and also what kind of history are you learning or have you learned in here well, it's much more like a uh, generic history, like in Hungary we learned about like... Hungarian history too, no? Kind of, mm -hmm. yeah. But we also learned about like how cultures work, how countries interact yeah. and that kind of stuff. While social studies here focuses more on histories, the stories mm. of every country literally just a series of wars and mm. stuff did and you learn about i don't know sorry indonesia or hungary or malaysia uh in independently yeah. yeah um basically at one point the teacher would give us assignments that um we could pick a country and learn about its history of invading or being invaded and mm. me being an indonesian i picked indonesia um and yeah, I learned a lot about like the Dutch people, uh, the reason they colonized Indonesia, 
uh, Japan's takeover of Dutch's Indonesia, Indonesia gaining independence and then becoming what it is today. Oh, basically. and yeah. did you write a paper or something like that? Basically, we on? wrote a presentation, oh. like collaboratively, like. A Every group? group of students could pick one slide from the presentation wow. and occupy that slide with details on their country. So mm -hmm. one part of the slideshow would be about Indonesia, the other would be about like Malaysia, another on Japan, another on India. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was such a creative concept and mm -hmm. I really liked it. So are you satisfied with your grades? You got two awards, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think one thing I like about the award system in my school is that, like, they award who you are as well. Oh, sorry. I, I know you have explained from before. You got award because of your GPA, and the other one? Uh, the other one is for like being good at communicating ideas effectively. Because well. You talk I'm, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a chatterbox, but in school that benefits me mainly because there's a lot of like discussion work, turn and talk, where you have to literally turn and talk. So. Yeah, you like being in the spotlight. Yeah. I think you are that kind of child. Yeah. And in the previous school, like there was nothing yeah. which could encourage you. I mean, in elementary, it was good. You had a yeah. lot of. Um, events, opportunity yep. to show yourself and to talk in public, but in middle school? Yeah, they kind of took yeah. that away from me in favor of like sporting friends. They were more sport oriented. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. that's, I don't like sports <laughs> events, like mainly because I'm bad at them. <laughs> like, you tell me to run 10 mile lap, I can only do one, mm -hmm. and then my lungs just stop they just forget how to take in oxygen like that you know yeah but it, it's normal i mean if you're good at something usually it's because you enjoy yeah. doing it to be honest i didn't expect you to have such good grades because because mm. you're new yeah but unfortunately this also means that i'm gonna have to be obligated to follow higher expectations <laughs> can you remember during your graduation i'm so sorry because back then I was so sick. I had food poisoning. Mm, yeah. I had to run to the toilet and then I saw a teacher was talking to daddy mm -hmm. about you and she was saying that, I don't know, you're very good in her class. Wow. Well, that's just because she was teaching computer class. Oh, <laughs> of oh, course. Okay, of course, yeah. of course, yeah. Of course, you, Obligatory. Yeah, you need to be good. But I heard that you will learn computer science. Let's go! Right? It's not the same in every school. Your previous school didn't have yeah. computer science. <laughs> Boo, like, so this is... Yeah, they had no inclusion for nerds like me. <laughs> I'm not saying which one is better or not, but you fit better here. Yeah, so you're excited about starting high school despite that you're getting older and oh, stuff. Oh, but oh. aren't you happy? So that means you will have one yeah. more favorite subject. Yes, yes. Right? I already have two favorite subjects. What? Um, there's STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, math, which it's not computer science, but it is something. Like, um, it's rather focusing on assembling technological electrical devices. Making like, robots? Yeah, robots, robots. Mm. Uh, yeah, actually... For the entire class, like we were given a robot kit, and then we would have to like follow instructions that were revealed as the class progressed, and then at the end we would have a really good working robot. Um, I remember my group made like a robot that was supposed to be suited for exploring spaces mm. that humans couldn't. Like it had a claw so that it could interact with things. Yeah. Mm. And what is the other favorite subject? Uh, there are two names for it. There's media design and then there's just design. Oh. Yeah, but it's basically where we make stuff with computers instead of making computers without the word with. Um, yeah, 
So this year there were three things that we did. Uh, we learned how to make digital art, we learned how to make 3D models, and at the end of the class, we also learned how to make websites. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. How about music? Piano. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's also a pretty good class. Yeah. yeah. I that's forgot to mention it in my new favorite. New experience. Yeah. You didn't have it before. Mm, in my current school, they go so much more in depth. You have uh, options. Yeah, they teach brass instruments, wind instruments, along with piano. Uh, if and you don't like music, yeah. you can still do dance, dance. and art. And but, drama, no? yeah, yeah, but you would have to choose uh, both dance and art, and that was all you could choose. Mm -hmm. Like you couldn't choose dance or art oh, uh, individually. It's one class. Yep, and it's like everything is performance based. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Rather than like uh, exam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So there were two types of concerts that uh, music students could hold. Mm -hmm. There were normal concerts, which were just for fun, and there were uh, summative concerts. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty much you only have to worry about summative concerts, but normal concerts are more like fun thing. They're, mm -hmm. they're pretty much just glorified practice sessions, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. there's little pressure, only a little. Unless you have stage fright, in that case, it's a lot. <laughs> but I think it's it's quite good class. Yeah. Because even though you are not musicians, I mean, yeah. to be able to make concert together like that, you need to cooperate and mm -hmm. you need to be selfless. Yeah, and we also learned it. how to follow a conductor's instruction. So I learned something at school. So they don't just teach you to learn A, B, C, 1 plus 1 equals 2, that kind of things. But there are things like social skills. Mm -hmm. You need to socialize with your friends. You need to be able to survive in mm -hmm. group of people. You need to cooperate with them. And in math, it's difficult to, mm -hmm. to practice this thing. Yeah, so uh, my old school solution was to shoehorn group work into everything. Every assignment was group work. Oh. Not a single one was solo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, in my new school, they evaluate both solo and group oh, Which work. one do you like more? If I'm being honest, like it depends on the scope. For smaller projects, if I have a clear vision, then I know, okay, it's better to do it by myself. Mm -hmm. But um, if... If it's a bigger project, then yeah, maybe get some of the silly guys to mm. congregate with me and discuss our course of action. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes the challenges from doing a task is not from whether it's difficult or not, mm -hmm. especially in a group project. It's to overcome your selfishness you know yeah like you think you have very good idea but your mates don't agree with you how yeah. do you convince them if we know that the idea is better then we just do what the guys say but if if we have reason to back up the other idea mm -hmm. then we usually just like flip a coin and see oh really like if it's heads then billy bobby's idea wins oh. if it's tails then jimmy johnny's idea did wins. you ever fight with your friends because of such thing like your idea is better but they don't want to take it mm, yeah i mean it's not impossible to butt heads with your mates one in it yeah oh. especially when you were younger i think yeah right? it happened mm -hmm. nowadays Nowadays, it's not that frequent anymore. I mean, yeah, yeah, you are older. See, there are better things from being older. Oh my god. <laughs> from everything that you have experienced here, is there anything that you would like to change? I wouldn't really change anything. I think I would only change a few small details here and there, but otherwise, mm. yeah. Uh, didn't you have difficulties? At school, at first? Okay, uh, scratch that. Uh, I meant remove PE completely. <laughs> it's impossible. Make it happen. Make it possible then. <laughs> it's like a trend. 
with schools mm -hmm. to make PE the center of everything, which is, yeah. I don't think public school would. Mm. I don't think my school was very sport oriented. But nowadays, because people are more, you know, mm, health conscious people, yeah. they want to stay healthy and sporty and stuff. Many parents these days, they would just encourage their kids to do sport. Like oh. sport is the, the answer for almost everything. If you are too fat, you need to lose weight, you exercise. If you are too skinny, you need to be stronger, you do exercise. I do believe that exercising is good yeah, but to stay there's, healthy. There's a point where you can take it too far and like you pass out and you uh, slip off the treadmill yes. into a swimming pool but and into I'm, the I'm, drain. I'm just saying, I'm trying to understand your interest too. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to force you, like you need to Come on, Matt, you're a boy, you need to do soccer, you know, that kind of things. I know because you don't like it and you prefer to spend your time in other things, so I'm not forcing you to do that. But I do agree that you need to work out at least, well, 20 minutes a day, which you do, right? Mm -hmm. So I remember there was a time when, well, at school, now you are in holiday when you played basketball every day and you got home like soaked in sweat yeah my friends love basketball yeah, which so, is funny because it's a very invasive sport so i do appreciate that you tried i think you tried because you wanted to make friends to make friends yeah. yes and then every day you just played mm. basketball and then what happened in the end um, you got bored or what uh, I just found that it was taking too much of my energy. Like, you have me, little guy, you have them, a big guy, they're just good. like, they could taunt me easily at soccer or something. Like, whoa, 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 <laughs> go. Yeah, yeah I, I, I do understand that physically you're smaller than them. It's not black and white. If you wanted to get friends by doing that every day, it's okay, you can do it. I think you decided to quit because you couldn't continue anymore. Yeah, like I couldn't. Tired and mm -hmm. I'm okay with that too. It's not right or wrong. Sometimes you can join them, but you don't have to join all the time. And I'm sure there are friends that share the same interests like mm, you. Yeah. So have you found some? A few, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I heard that you played even with high schoolers too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tell me about it. That stemmed from me trying to get into basketball so that mm -hmm. I could make more friends. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the high schoolers mostly befriended me because they saw me trying my best at basketball. Wow. Yeah. That's really nice. One of them, he's almost like two meters tall. Wow. Like, bro, those are like, that guy's a skyscraper. I'm not kidding. <laughs> You got me like the ant in the ground eating tiny crumbs on the street mm -hmm. all day. And that guy on a skyscraper, birds fly into him. You played with him? Yeah, but yeah. But then he he would beat you up easily. Well, he was my teammate oh, at okay, basketball. Okay, okay. So, yeah, he kind of he kind of had to carry me there. Whoa. As long as you're happy, I just don't want you to be sad because you don't have any friends but you do now right mm. Mm. thankfully i heard you had problems with smaller kids uh, should i talk I'm, yeah. I'm just curious about your problem solving skill i just talked to the school counselor <laughs> yeah even the counselor told me that she's so proud of you you solve problems on your own but I need to remind you. Yeah. You have support system. So if there is something you don't know what to do, just go and ask her or any other teachers. I think they will help. So by choosing computer science, do you want to be software developer? Yeah. Like daddy? Well, I kind of want to rather focus on making games. Mm, have you been studying for that? Uh, yeah, kind of. I've been learning a bunch of programming languages like recently. What? Quite a couple. I learned Python, uh, Lua, GDScript, which is 
a programming language for a free game engine called the Godot engine and Java, which is, well, Java is very different from most other programming languages, but in a way that makes it easier to organize. And what do you think about ChatGPT? Oh, okay, okay, now this is a very spicy one, but um, unless ChatGPT can uh, correct itself and know how to train itself, which I don't bet on, um, I think that it's kind of like if OpenAI somehow adds that feature in, then yeah, we should be really scared. Mm. We should be scared that AI is going to take the capability to make art from us. And meanwhile, we're going to have to do the bare minimum to maintain society. Yeah, so? We're going to have to do all the boring tasks while AI gets to yeah. do the fun stuff. So aren't you worried that we won't need game developer in the end because AI will do it? Nah, I think it'll be obvious whether something is AI generated just by how much soul it has. Mm. Yeah, so for now it's easy to distinguish between AI generated and human made content. Uh, yeah, let's just hope that OpenAI and other companies don't try to blur the lines any further. Have you ever used ChatGPT for doing homework? Uh, I don't usually do it for homework i usually rather use it for personal projects like uh figuring out what's wrong with my code or tips on learning things and stuff like that um i usually only do it if i feel like my homework is just like crossing the line you know what i mean like i can't find anything about it on search engines then yeah i'll resort to uh chat gpt but is it allowed um for research yes for gathering information yes it's allowed but uh for generating content and copy pasting into documents no big no no and you'll probably get a zero on that assignment and your parents called and you'll probably get suspended. Will your teachers know if you use ChatGPT? Yeah, they there use, is something to check. It's called GPT-0 um, and they use it to detect whether something is made by a student or by uh, an AI. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, it costs $5 a month. So that's another $5 to uh, the school's monthly fees. Whoa for content verification mm -hmm. yeah do yeah. you have any tips for people other I mean, students kids. yes other students who will move to a new school what should they do to adjust quickly in the new place attend events at the school i remember there was graduation dinner except yeah. that it was half dinner half disco tell me tell me <laughs> half dinner half disco am i right so what but happened yeah, basically it took place at a bar. Mm -hmm. Bar? Yeah, but uh, you didn't none of, drink. Yeah, we no. didn't drink. We juice. we mostly drank juice. Um, they made the lemonade using sparkly water, mm -hmm. which I will forever hate them for that. But <laughs> yeah, you involve mean? yourself in uh -huh. the events and in the culture of your new school. Did you like it? It was really fun. How about? um traveling oh traveling you mean like yeah school trip oh um overnight trips uh you will have to do it they overstep my boundaries a bit but <laughs> i'll have to force myself although i won't be able to attend them without at least two or three hours of crying <laughs> so yeah you had experience in austria i hated it honestly. you hated it the only thing i liked was well the trip took place over four days, mm -hmm. okay? So, two days for traveling to and back from Austria, mm, and two hard. days for the actual recreation. Mm -hmm. um, both of the activities had hiking involved. So what did we get? 4.5 kilometers of hiking, one kilometer of spelunking, and maybe more than that of train riding. But like four and a half kilometer is one way, 
both ways, then it's nine kilometers. Yeah, 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 that's what I hate about it. <laughs> what I liked was the free time, because, oh, baby, people were chaotic at that time. Mm. I remember there was uh, one kid who would, like, distribute these wise sayings to the school, and then there was another kid walking in the field in around the hotel venting to their friend about mm. how they were being called names it was hearing those both conversations going on at the same time i will never miss that because oh wait i will miss that i had a brain fart there but i will miss hearing that kind of stuff because mm. they like contrast yeah the contrast yeah you those. you can only get such things when you spend the night with them mm. because when they are tired they're feeling homesick or something then they will tell things that they normally don't tell you yeah mm. and also just seeing all of the students mm. interact with each other when normally they're separated by home is just eye-opening. <laughs> Luckily, you stayed with Roy in Austria. So yeah, least... Roy based, Roy based, very cool. Mm, yeah. Um, in my old school, I found it a bit more difficult to fit in, and in my new school, I don't know. I think it was just a placebo effect. Like, oh, they like sports. They like all these things, mm -hmm. and I am bad at all of those. Mm -hmm. um, turns out, they were much easier to bond with than I thought. Yeah. Anyway, thank you, Matt, for joining us today. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something from. Uh. Uh. Oh, oh no! My pillow! And yeah, check out our other videos. Maybe like and uh, spread it to your friends so that the algorithm knows that this is good content because it is but yeah um thank you for watching and i'll see you in some other video probably bye